Welcome home, Rat Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob, the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the founder, CEO of this show, was actually featured in the Wild Thornberries as one of the animals they discovered. Lord Nelson's trousers, it's a Yeti. No creature threatens a Thornberry. But I hope you beautiful people have had an amazing day. If you guys aren't you know the drill mr. Krabs money camera flip I feel so alive. It's about to get a whole lot brighter rep back because your boy is here. And today, we are going to be introducing a brand new version of the Mr. Krabs Challenge. Previously, we've done the Mr. Krabs Challenge where we go out on hunts and we try to see what we can find at the cheapest places like the Dollar Tree, Five Below, 99 cent store, places like that. But today, we are going to be going thrifting, which can sometimes be cheap and sometimes be some of the most pricey videos that we do because we pick up so much stuff. But today, we're gonna be trying to get the biggest and best haul we possibly can, collecting all the stuff that we love here, Disney, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and of course, our main man, The Sponge. But at the same time, keeping it under $100. And see, if you had $100, how much of a pickup, how much of a haul, could you get value wise, but not just that awesomeness wise. And we're gonna calculate it the entire time we're hunting by adding up the price to try to keep it under $100 if possible. I think it's gonna be a blast. We're gonna be going to our local thrift store over here and they just restocked with a bunch of awesome stuff, I'm sure. So I can't wait to head over there with you guys. We're gonna go ahead and hop in the car. It is raining, it is pouring. The old man, he's snoring. Oh boy. So without any further ado, Let's go to the thrift store. Okay guys, we're weathering through the storms in order to get you guys here. We are going over to the thrift store. I'm trying to drive safe here at the same time. It is raining cat dogs out there. No, it's not. We're under a, a bridge currently. And it's very dark. <laughs> and raining cat dogs again. <laughs> so we're heading over there right now. We'll keep you guys updated. We're going to start trying to stay dry. We are not going to be making it rain today, though. We are going to try to do this under $100. Let's see what we can find. Like I said, let's check it out when we get there. We'll do our Ocean Man when we get there. Yeah, big rainbow. You know what that says to me? Imagination. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do it now, we gotta do it now. Ocean man, ocean man, take me by the imagination hand. Oh, I couldn't mess that one up. All right. We got the single rainbow across the sky. <laughs> Good luck, Ocean Man. We're almost there. We'll be there in about 10 minutes and we can hop on into the thrift store. This is Community Thrift, one of the best thrift stores we've gone to. They put next to everything, I'm pretty sure, straight onto the shelves. You find some amazing stuff here. So hopefully our luck's there for us. We're gonna go in there. We're gonna be looking for the best of the best for under 100 bucks. All right, so you guys truly got to see one of the most, probably will never happen again, craziest Ocean Man. Mitchell just mentioned it. We had an Ocean Man with a rainbow in the background that gets that's as spongy as it gets i don't know if this hunt's gonna be as as, as glorious as that was but that was the true treasure that of was the day. A, that was an experience <laughs> in itself yeah so we're gonna go in there and try to find the best we can keeping it a hundred dollars but let's just take a moment as a community to remember the once in a lifetime rainbow ocean man all right let's <laughs> head on in This is one of the ones we need. The Patrick Stars no Patrick way. Square Pants. Is the disc in there? Yes. Is it clean? Spotless. It's pretty clean. Dude, yeah. There dude. we go. That is one of the ones we need. So that checks off. I think we're down to like only it's three. Like one or, or two, yeah. Yeah, three, two or three that we need left. Holy cow. That was an awesome one. Scooby Doo and Friends. There's a couple good ones in here. Oh, the frozen face off, too. That's like, you never see that at all. Dude, the Scooby one's fine, too. Christmas one as well. Oh my gosh, dude, what the oh, heck? This one's I'm in so here too. hyped on this. Dude, that's awesome too. What's the disc look like? Spotless. <laughs> dude, I, this one just made the whole trip for me. Just checking these off slowly. There we go. So four freaking DVDs out the gate and one that we needed. So like, Perfect. we'll have to do a count and see how many we need left, but that is unbelievable. We got the Little Mermaid music box here. Still work. 
And this one's only $1.99. We're gonna let that run through. I don't wanna close it while it's going. We have another one right here. This is just a jewelry box. We have another one right here that works as well too. $1.99. Part of your world, that's so cool. Yeah, these are so cute too. And this one right here too, this one still has the freaking thing inside. It's a brand making new and they only want 99 cents for this one. Those are good deals. Yeah, we're grabbing all four of these. These are adorable. And I'm definitely gonna keep one of these guys. I may be this one. Cause look at Flounder. Oh, it's so adorable. Sebastian. <laughs> yeah, they're so cute. Okay, that was an awesome find out the gate too. We're not gonna grab them. They're a little bit old and like chipped up, but these are honey jars. They might be licensed. They may not. I don't think they are. It's hard to tell. They have a brand in the bottom here. You know, it just says Rose. They might have just pot. put the honey and the yeah. text on it, yeah. $2.99. Still really cute though. This dude freaking the monkey. I forgot what this is called right now. Julius, <laughs> Julius and friends as if it's on the front. I know, it's not what it's called though. I think the monkey is, is called something else. We're not gonna pop it up on screen here, but that's still really nostalgic to see that monkey guy. This time there's actually Brian. Last time with this this polar bear that Mitchell thought was Brian. Or... It was like a dog, but it looked... <laughs> He's gone now. But this time Brian is actually here. They want five bucks for him. But you know what? Just because of the meme, I'm gonna grab actual <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Mitchell found freaking Mermaid Man Patrick. I mean, one of his like strings right here is a little pulled out a little, little bit. Barnacle boy. Yeah, but that's sick. It's only three dollars and ninety nine cents. I've like never seen one of these in the wild, let alone in the store. So we're gonna grab that guy. An awesome find. Holy cow! See that Ocean Man with a little well, a special one. I'm telling you. <laughs> Look, it's a Patrick day. With the Patrick Star pants, and then we also have this guy right here today. He <laughs> gonna go to Bugatti too. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not even the one I woke up in. <laughs> dude, 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 dude. What, what the heck is that? It's a sponge ball. It's like a That's battle so for cute. bikini of bottom. What the heck? It's a tie. That is the coolest ball. looking sponge ball. <laughs> How have we not seen this before? It's like a little SpongeBob bowling ball. It's That's so, so cute. cute. For $2.99, dude, this hut is crazy already. Finding so much stuff in here, a lot of, my shoe almost came off. All right, so we are going through all the bags right now. You guys can see the bags are already loaded up. We'll go through all that stuff. We get back to the camera and you guys know how it goes. Bags we always save as a mystery. When we get back to the cavern, you guys can see what stuff we found inside these little goodie bags. We found this guy right here. Probably not gonna grab him. He's pretty beat up here, but I will give you one little sneak peek. Mitchell found an Imaginex sponge gar. We need that one for our Imaginex collection. $1.99. I wanted to ask you, does this, is this somebody, I feel like he's, I remember he him, looks but it's like Jabberjaw, but that's yeah. a Ryan's toy review uh, for okay. <laughs> I wanted to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to grab this guy. We're going to look through the bags here. We have just found so many cool things, though. I don't want to spoil everything in the bag, but a lot of what we found here was in the bags already. Oh, it's so hard. I want to give you guys another sneak peek. I may have grabbed one more sneak peek for you guys. It's a little bit dirty, but I think we can clean them up. We have Super Shadow. That is so cool. <laughs> it is dope. It's a little bit much, but I'm like, well, just for the love of it, I'm going to grab them. I already I got some out already for you guys, and I we're gonna keep those for a surprise when we get back. But I did want to show you some of the good ones they had in here. They had this is eight dollars, kind of a lot, but you have it's like some kind of special Garfield plush you hear. Either that or he has just kind of some kind of collar on him that looks pretty special. Super old 80s Garfield and Odie. We have a freaking Ochaco in here. <laughs> She's also like six bucks. We have a Pikachu, five bucks. Psyduck. Psyduck, five bucks. This is not an old school Psyduck, that's 2022. It looks like old school, but it's not. There's some pretty cool pieces in here. The Scrooge McDuck, which I actually have already. Adorable. <laughs> 5.99. Oh, here's a Sonic that goes with that Super Shadow, six bucks. Five bucks on that one. This guy I'm unfamiliar with, but he looks pretty cool. Snoopy, not Brian Mitchell. <laughs> This is a sample plushie, so this could be like something, and this would be the sample of it. So if this is an actual character, this could be like essentially like a prototype. It's a sample plushie though. Funko Pops in there. There's some Funko Pops in here. We have a Halo one. Is that Halo? It has to be Halo, right? Could be another one, but yeah, it looks like Halo. Microsoft, yeah, that's Halo. Yep. Got the blue Halo character there. Ant-Man, I mean, nothing for us really. I mean, there's Jon Snow, Star Wars. And I think uh, it's like a... Whiplash. Looks like Transformers. I'm gonna pull them out for you and you try to name them. Uh, is that Star Wars? Winter Soldier. Oh, uh, okay. You know him. 
Optimus Prime. Yeah, Optimus Prime is... <laughs> I mean, the Halo one. I know some of the Halo ones can be pretty hard to find. You always got to look out for stuff like these guys right here. I'm going to keep one of these, but you know, doing the shop and also doing whatnot is it gives us the ability to put money back into the channel and also back into collecting. I spotted this guy. I'm not a big Halo guy, but I, I know enough about Halo. I used to grow up playing it and I saw this guy. Most of the Halo pops can be kind of pricey. In box, this guy's going to 100 to $200. Jeez. In box. This is not in box. <laughs> but loose one just sold for 40 so four dollars that's literally like what uh, 10 times your prop <laughs> yeah a huge discount so we're gonna grab him <laughs> we're looking through the plushies right now here you can see but it's like Sick. there's wonder woman down here there's some wild ones in here some other and, disney characters here and there yeah and you guys know i am not perfect at it like I, you guys tell me all the time the different things that i miss that are like worth way more than what they're costing on the shelf i just know what i know when i try to pick up the stuff that i know and that's really all you can do i'm I'm always gonna miss stuff because there's somebody out there that has a different expertise which makes it so fun going to the thrift stores just because somebody goes through everything some toy collector comes in here and goes through everything he's still gonna miss stuff because we all have different expertise and things that we know better than each other there's probably so many things in those bags that me and Mitchell missed yeah but it's absolutely. just not what we know hey dude $3. oh a TMNT helmet three TMNT helmet three dollars I mean, it's pretty peeled up and stuff. I just don't cool, really. Cool yeah, pattern on it's it. It's a cool find. I'm not going to grab this guy, but he is pretty sweet for $3. I'm like you with the uh, with Brian. I keep thinking that little pink guy up there next to Chimchar. I keep thinking that's Rufus from Kim Possible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, but. It looks similar. Yeah. I used to have every single one of these when I was a kid, these books, and I would always like put paper on them and then like trace them because the outlines were like so deep. Have you guys had any of these growing up? Let me know. I didn't even know they were part of like a volume. I just think I had like miscellaneous ones throughout my room, <laughs> but they probably did come in a set like this. We found this Pokemon advent calendar. It did come with a bunch of characters, but obviously those are gone, but it's, you know, still got a little Pokemon set up. You can make a little Pokemon nativity scene. Yeah. <laughs> you have a little uh, Iggly buff baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket Power Double Trouble. I think we might already have that one. I'm not 100% sure. But the rest of these books I don't really have any interest in, so we're gonna leave it for two bucks. Dude, like, look at this Ikea hat. It's like made out of the exact same material as their bags. Yeah, it's like almost like a tarp t like material. <laughs> yeah, it's like, not for <laughs> me, but that's kind of sick. We have a Mario Bros hat. I mean, I don't really deal with the hats that much. I know some people like, we'll gra grab them if they're really substantial, but for the most part, we'll usually leave the hat. Got a uh, PJ and Mask one right there. Every, Every night, night nights. <laughs> Grogu over here, a really cute monster one. Oh, this Ash Ketchum hat is still here. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> You know what else is still here? Nobody wants it. Oh, the one you donated because you got a new one? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> this Lego Lego Land's hat? sick, yeah, yeah. that one's actually pretty sweet. Ooh, freaking yeah, got vintage. the tag on it. Are you kidding me? For $1.99. I was going to leave it, but then as soon as I saw the tag, I'm like, okay, well, now I can't. <laughs> you have the SpongeBob drink cozy. That's too cool. This is before we had insulation, kids. We had to have a cozy around our drink. They like a little jacket that helped insulate. <laughs> <laughs> that is sweet. Green label, 2004, 2005. Green and white era. label. Green and white label. And what is the, did you know and acknowledge? Of course it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and if you didn't know, uh, the doormat outside of SpongeBob's house <laughs> says Hawaii. Forever and ever and ever. Oh, Mitchell, don't forget your drink. No, I'm good. All right, so he's ringing it up right now. Let's see if we kept it under 100. That's the goal. We're going to have it fast forwarded a little bit here, but the goal is under 100 for the challenge. Ooh, light work, 61. Okay, so we are chilling. All right, so like I said, 61 60 bucks. bucks is so good. Yeah, we added up the total. It's off a full price, but some of those tags were 50% off, 25%. 75 even, yeah. Yeah, so there were, that was like us being hopeful that we stayed. But I walked around the corner and I was blinded. <laughs> Same, I was just like, wait, I can't <laughs> see anything. So now that I, um, out, we're out here. Hey, you guys can get blinded. <laughs> no, I see where the rainbow was there. All right, so. $61. We still got $39 to work with. I'm thinking just so we can really just show what we can do with 100 bucks. We go to the other thrift store. See if there's any area. grails. Yeah, and if it's a grail status, something that's under $40, all under 100 bucks, that would be unbelievable. Just freaking blow this whole challenge out of the water. Come on, dude. That's pretty good for six. That's, I would thought that was pretty good for a hundred. That was great. $60. Let's head over to the next store and see if we can just, like I said, just disintegrate this $100 challenge. 
One of the issues with coming to this one is dealing with the parking space. Took us about 15 minutes to get a spot. That was longer than the drive here. Yep. All right, so let's head on. So at this location, we only got $40 to work with, so we're just looking for, you know, grails. We might not find anything in here. If it's like smaller and, you know, we're not going to grab it. Only whatever we consider like the best of the best. We're getting to the store a little later. There's a couple items I thought was cool. They had a huge Angelica doll, but she looked pretty beat up. A couple stains, I didn't grab it. But I found socks here. This is only a dollar ninety-nine, so we'll add that to our total. I think there's a little mark here, but I can get that off like nothing. And he still works. <laughs> it looks so good, right? Kind of creepy. Yeah. Well, he's a robot, and this thing was like thirty bucks retail. Ooh. When they came out, I grabbed this guy right here because we're always looking for new blue plushies that we don't already have, and I've never seen this one before. It's three ninety nine, a little much, but I haven't seen this one. So at this point, I feel like it's kind of infrequent, you know, that we see ones we don't have. Mitchell saw this guy right here, the Mikey, for only a dollar ninety nine. We already have this Mikey, but for a dollar ninety nine, and it comes with a double ticker. Yeah. True. <laughs> Just grab him. <laughs> Grab this guy too, a dollar ninety nine. It's a Powerpuff Girls lock. Oh, but there's no key though. That's what I realized now. No, oh, sorry, socks. I'm gonna turn you off right now. The only thing about this, I just realized, is there's no key. So that would be kind of. I mean, you could get those open though. Look out. Yeah. Yeah, I think I should still go for it for dollar ninety nine, even without I mean, the key. It's just a display. It still looks sick. Yeah, there's probably some che like cheap keys that are similar for these two you can find. And then I got this because it looks like Hunter. True. <laughs> <laughs> like identical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he'll love that alongside of his bed. For the DVDs right now, I found three Scoobies. All of them are here, but they're not here, if you know what I mean. They, they, they are really beat up, so we're going to put those back. But we're still looking around here. Oh, this one looks good. Oh. Put that badge in there. <laughs> Don't you dare. Okay, so we are back in the cavern and man what a trip so we are gonna go through everything find out whether it was worth it not worth it but of course we're gonna start with the surprise bag so last time we got a lot of bags because we had so many zoom zooms ah uh, here's a little look back at that five six seven eight nine we're like almost over a hundred zoom zooms in that video but we have a bunch of different stuff this time i didn't see any zoom zooms there this time not they were just jumbo ones <laughs> yeah so let's go ahead and grab all of our bags out here and then we're gonna get into the main stuff that we got we got a lot of bags though one two three four seven bags in total let's just go ahead and pick one here and i'm gonna pick this one because it's got the most sponge in it so taking a look here mitchell grabbed this because of the minions and i was like dude look there's spongebob in there too he was getting this for himself because he had these minion figures but these are cute you know so i'll give those over to mitchell but it also comes with this kayaking spongebob which still works <laughs> This is from the Olympics one, I believe, or like the sports related. Like there's like a whole set that McDonald's had with like 20 different SpongeBob doing different sports. Who knew SpongeBob was so athletic? Or maybe not. But we also have this guy right here who's always missing his basketball. The hoopster LeBron James headband wearing SpongeBob. We got the crispiest of all crabs. Look at his face. <laughs> when you find out money isn't the root of all happiness. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, I think an aquarium piece. I'm not sure where he's from, but really why we got this was these guys, this guy right here is pretty solid, but this right here, this is the Imagine Next Sponge Gar. Obviously he's missing some of his pieces. I think he has a piece of a uh, plant that's on fire from the episode where they invent fire. This is like the piece that he comes with, but we're trying to get all this Imagine Next figures and I bought a huge collection where we got a bunch of them but I did not get sponge guards so I feel like at this point it's easier to get the ones that I do have than it is to get the ones I don't have because we have so many but this one pulled through for us so for a dollar 99 I mean we're gonna check his price because some of them can be 10 20 30 bucks I'm sure he's probably in the ten dollar range but I already think for a dollar that's worth it that was worth it yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this guy sells for about like five to eight dollars. I mean, already worth it. We're just trying to get all the Imaginex figures. To me, they're like its own little collection. He does come with a log, like a fire log, which, how does that even work? Hey, if we're underwater, how can there be a... But SpongeGar, I'm giving him worth it. Okay, so next bag here, let's take a look. I got this one because we have a man here who's very, very afraid of losing his gumdrop buttons. Yeah. <laughs> we have the gingerbread man. I didn't think I was gonna make it out before 
for Christmas, but here I am. <laughs> here we have him. And I'm assuming he is from Shrek. So it's Toy Factory, which does a lot of the claw machine toys and stuff like that. It doesn't say, but I can almost assure you, this is for sure the gingerbread man from Shrek. He was just adorable. I wanted to grab him. But I also grabbed him because we have Bam Bam in here. So we have Bam Bam with his actual hammer right there. And this also is a Flintstones one and by Toy Factory as well, too. It goes with the pebbles. Yeah, and we got pebbles before. So now we have the Bam Bam to go with that pebbles that we had. So those two right there, I thought was already worth it and I paid you didn't want this Nick Jr. Mermaid? Well, I was going to say it's a bonus item. We got $4 for these, but we also got... This is from Bubble Guppies. I mean, we don't have any bubble... We we got the Team Umizoomi items last time. Yeah. You know, we don't have any Bubble Guppies in here, so we'll put her in the toy box, and that's an extra bonus Nickelodeon item for, you know, the price of whatever, everything else we got. And then this, which I don't know what this is. This is some kind of pattern-changing unicorn... Purse that thing. also has a purse hole. All right, so that one we're gonna say, I don't know, what do you think for this whole bag? I'm thinking worth it. I'm gonna say worth it just for those two. Yeah, I mean, $2 each on these guys. These are adorable. I, I mean, I think it's barely crossing the line, but I'm gonna say worth it. Oh, there it is. It does say Shrek back here. There we go for the confirmation. Now it's worth it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one up here. I don't know. Maybe I was going crazy on the bags. We have another one. This was $2.99. Brown was, I believe, what was it, like 20% off? 75? But let's take a look. So it wasn't really $2.99. I grabbed them because I saw the flea here from Bugs Life. And I thought that was really cute. But now that I look at it, it could have been like some random McDonald's toy or something. But you know, this flea was quite the showman. He actually ran a whole circus for Bugs. <laughs> Bugs will pay big bucks to see. A bonfire that is starring me! Hey, you never heard the flea circus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I grabbed it for him, but I don't know. We'll have to take a look and see where he comes from. We also got this penguin with a really furry butt. What the heck is that? Fuzzy tails. Well, it is, I guess, fuzzy. Yeah, this is like if a penguin stole a weave. This is, <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> this is like two kids at my school's hair. Yeah. In middle school, like literally just put on there. <laughs> <laughs> That's this what might they have did. been my hair. <laughs> <laughs> they just trimmed it off one day and he's like, oh, you know, that'd be good on a plush. <laughs> <laughs> just stick that on there. Oh, you're beautiful. All right, then next up we have this dog, unicorn, butterfly thing that's like the, the definition of the, like how do i get it make a toy that appeals to uh, what i think will appeal to girls and he's got pancakes and he's got a pancakes <laughs> he's definitely a dog dog fairy maybe dog fairy unicorn berry yeah it doesn't have a brand on it i'm gonna go with not worth it and then we have a giraffe hey, you know what that is called this is a smooshimals Whatever. slow rise foam that actually is pretty slow <laughs> 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 All right, let's see the flea if he's like from a special line or if he's just like McDonald's This might be a not worth it either But I mean trust us and the rest of the stuff we got worth it I just might have been going a little crazy in the bags Oh, because actually after a little research he goes for like five to eight dollars And I mean he's not a Burger King toy or anything like that. This is made by Mattel So I mean maybe worth it. I mean, let's just go with a draw on this I was gonna one. say a draw would be good then. Yeah, a draw I mean you can see can you imagine if fleas were this big <laughs> just on your dog's back? That would be torturous. <laughs> for you or for the dog? For both. <laughs> <laughs> Having to squish one of those things and they're jumping around, that'd be ter terrifying. <laughs> it's just like, uh, honey, go get the front line. <laughs> At least you can see him though, you just pull this sucker off. <laughs> Imagine the flea combs for that guy. Yeah, I know that. I think they sell them. They're called rakes. <laughs> Next up here, we have the Halo figure. So this right here is the blue Spartan. As soon as I saw it, I was like, you know, there are some Halo Funko Pops that aren't worth much, and there are some Halo Pops that are worth hundreds, literally. And we got lucked out, and it's one of the ones worth hundreds. So if this guy had his original packaging, all that stuff, you're looking at $150 to $200 Funko Pop. But that's why it's so important to keep the boxes for not just Funko Pops, but things in general. Sometimes you just got to do it you got to do what you got to do and you want to open it up but this guy you know it just happens you know like look at how many things are back here that are opened out of their boxes you know there's sometimes the time and place for everything but funko pops at least just keep the box you know you funk you know no that, that that was too big of a stretch okay he's gonna leave but we have the blue spartan here you can look on the bottom here look at that 2012 can i you can try yeah look at that look at that slowly focusing there you go. Yeah, 2012. In Funko years, that's a grandpa. He's ancient. <laughs> so out of the box, I, there was one with his head off that was sold for 30. So we saw another one sell for 40. So somewhere in that range, let's go ahead and say 30 bucks at the minimum. That's and, definitely worth it. Yeah, worth it for $4 all day long. 
and he kind of looks sick too. I'm surprised that you didn't realize it was Halo immediately. Like, oh, something like that, because I was like, you played Halo way more than me. I just saw the head. I was like, I guess it could be. But I yeah. just got slaughtered in Halo and then turned the game off. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his little battle rifle. That's sick. <laughs> yeah, it's dope. All right, next up here, four dollars. I got this one because for Johnson upset from for the ma Magic Johnson or who? Well, maybe it was another Johnson. Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Arizona bear. So this is for the Arizona baseball basket foot team. I don't know baseball, but I do know SpongeBob, and that ain't it. <laughs> it's still cool though. And then we got this uh, girl right here from Puka. I grabbed it because, like, Puka, you know, it is a Cartoon Network show. You don't see Puka stuff all the time. You know, it's a little suction cupper. Kind of works. This table's not really suctiony. Let's use my phone. Oh, take my damn screen out. It works. <laughs> so her, we'll have to value check her because I'm not 100% sure, but I was familiar with the with the, the art style, so I grabbed it. That is a interesting looking reindeer dog thing. This looks like the reindeer that got ran over by grandma. That's Rodney. Burger King. Her name is Rhonda. Not Rodney. Oh, it looks like Rondi on the front. <laughs> it yeah, is Rodney on the Rodney front. Rodney is the brand. Rodney and Friends, okay. Yeah, not everybody in Spongebob is Spongebob. Patrick ain't Spongebob. He's just on Spongebob. He could be Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> Rhonda Reindeer, as smart as she is cute, she jogs and she teaches acrobats to boot. And now, the divine, look at how, why are her legs so, yeah, there's something I don't like about them legs. It's from 1997 too, dang. Now, the acrobatics from Rhonda. Oh, come on, Rhonda. And she's perfectly chilling. <laughs> <laughs> and Rhonda will stay there for the remainder of this year. And then next up here, who do we got? Another baseball or From something. the Blue Man Group. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Home Run Heroes. And this one is for another baseball team. You're right. This one's Hank Aaron from the Dodgers. And this is a real freaking team, man. I know them. The Dodgers. I think this is like, what, minor league? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think Arizona is like a, like the I think Diamond the Diamondbacks are a real like MLB team too. Are they? I think so. I think it's a minor league. Ryan showed up on screen. Are they minor, major, or? I'm pretty sure they're major. Junior. I don't know. <laughs> but this is Hank Aaron of Dodgers fame. So shout out to you, Hank Aaron. And they've got our two, I'm gonna say these bears, maybe not worth it. <laughs> but let's check out this Puka doll here. I may have overpaid for this one too. I kind of went crazy in the bags and I, I will own that. Uh, Mitch, what did you do this for? Why? <laughs> so we have this girl right here and we looked her up. Similar ones sell for like 15 to 20. Puka plushies can be really expensive because they're not super common. I, I'm gonna go ahead and say draw on this one though because I don't know for sure. Yeah, I gotta agree because there's at least some cool stuff in that one for sure. Yeah, it could have been better, but you know, like I said, I just went crazy on the back. I don't know why I went so crazy, but you know, I'm gonna put her in the key pile and these guys, we're gonna put them over here in our giveaway to people pile. All right, two bags left here. This one is an instant worth it because this guy was only $2. And it's a little tiny Tasmanian devil. But what I love about him is it has other different, <laughs> look at the hair coming up there. It's got the pattern of other different Looney Tunes characters all over him. I just think he looks so cute and I love the pattern on him. It looks like he's tatted up. Yeah. <laughs> or like should I tell you, tazzed up. Tazzed up. Yeah. And this is also, I'm sure from Toy Factory, they do a lot of the claw machine toys. So for two fifty, I don't think I could have won them with less than $3. Maybe you know, it's like a dollar a play. <laughs> yeah, so I'm saying I think it would have taken me a lot more than a dollar to win this guy. I'm gonna say worth it for $2.50. I just think he's cute. All right, and our last one here that is definitely worth it to me. This one was $5 though, and that is going in my shadow collection, Super Shadow. So a lot of people know there is a Super Sonic, but Super Sonic appeared like even in back in his like pixelated days. But Super Shadow came way down the line and all he has is this little red spot right here, which looks like some hot Cheeto dust or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure I can get that off. I have no doubts I can get this off as I'm washing. one of his enemies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Probably. So, oh, but his shoes say Sonic. Dang, I was wrong. I realized it now because like literally we were filming and I was like, these shoes say not shadow. These are Sonic shoes. He kind of has like a little bit of like a menacing shadow look though, right? Yeah, it's like the spikes and the eyes and everything look like shadow. Yeah, I thought it was shadow, but this is super Sonic. So I'm going to go with still <laughs> worth it though. That's probably why the other Sonic was there too. It's like, oh, here's a regular, here's a super. Yeah, so the, I mean, I did miss on that. So this is super Sonic. He's still uh -huh. cute. He's still very cute, but I was hoping he was super shadow. That would have been even more dope. But it's from Sega. And yeah, the shoes are dead giveaway right there. Those <laughs> shoes are not shadow. Shadow shoes are way sicker. 
So it's still worth it because he sells even like a new shape like this for about 10 to 15 bucks. But I should have realized, duh, Shadow still has the red in the design. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I made a mistake on that one. I just went for it. Or I saw it quick. It was in the bag. I just went for it quickly. Ah, still worth it, though. But I, I wish it would have been Shadow. All right, so we're done with the bags. Let's get into the meat of what we found. And let's start off with one of the first things we found we got in there. The Patrick Star. Patrick Squarepants DVD. So for those of you guys that don't know, over there in that corner, Mitchell's zooming in on right now, we have been trying to acquire every single SpongeBob US release ever made. All of the specials. So we're talking Pass of the West, To Love a Krabby Patty, Atlanta Square Pantis, all of these special discs, we're trying to get all of them. And when we did a video counting down every single one, we were missing, I think, four. And we've got one we came in from fan mail, which is Where's Gary's? All right, so after recalculating, we are still missing three. We're missing Who Bob What Pants. We're missing SpongeBob's Last Stand. SpongeBob's Last Stand. I have that one in a two pack. Same thing with Hope, uh, Who Bob What Pants. But we don't have the single DVDs like this. And we need. SpongeBob, you're fired. SpongeBob, you're fired. So those three standalone discs we still need. But we have now checked off Patrick Square Pants. And this guy has the disc. I mean, no insert there. So we'll have to mark that down on our labeling, missing the insert. But the disc is like unused, if it even has an insert. And for $1.99, that is like for us at this point, a grail. Uh, to Absolutely. Have, to have basically all of them, it's very few times that we actually find discs that we don't have now. So those three left, and to find one in the wild, that's unreal. And this has a really rare one because you see like Lost at Sea or Seascape or any of those like all the time. Season one through four, you see all of those everywhere you go. But these ones are harder and harder to find. That's why I grabbed this one because I'm like, dude, I'm going to check out this one comparatively to the disc that I have here because I have never seen Frozen Face Off in the wild before either. So I grabbed Frozen Face Off. I love Karen's. Uh, <laughs> She's got the worm from that learning game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like the same thing. I think I'm a sock puppet almost. <laughs> yeah. So, Frozen Face Off, I grabbed that. This one right here, Scooby Doo and Friends. <laughs> That's like this one. SpongeBob and Friends. That's yeah, this one is just a volume disc from What's New, but I don't have it, so I just grabbed it. I, I'm mostly trying to collect the films, the movies, but I saw the disc was clean. If it's a disc I don't have and it's for a dollar, two dollars, I'll add it to the media, Scooby Doo, just to have it in there. And then, of course, Perfect timing. We got SpongeBob SquarePants Christmas. And this is probably be something I give away on Whatnot. If you guys aren't over there on Whatnot, go check it out. And I'll be giving this guy away too, just because, you know, it fits his perfect timing. I, we saw that in the wild, perfect day. It's brand new disc in there, basically. Can't complain, can't complain. Perfect little Christmas present for somebody. All these discs were a W. Yeah, www. Win.com. <laughs> Goodishelldisc.com. <laughs> All right, with that one, you're gonna be, you're pretty. Yeah, sit over here. Look at that. Sitting pretty. <laughs> I love it. Today was a Patrick day though, like I said. We also found this guy on the on the note of Patrick. So this plushie, I mean, I don't want to say it's rare. We're gonna look look it up real quick, but I would say it's relatively uncommon. I've never seen it. One of the issues, what well, same way, remember we had that Toys R Us uh SpongeBob in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a kind of like flimsy. Flimsy, but not just that. That's why that we have a Toys R Us plushie. Ryan will put up on screen here. We found it with a Toys R Us tag on it, green labels, minty as it could be, but I put it straight in the vault because some of the plushies back in the day, they had this like decal that was printed it on as their face rather than being like you know stitched into the face or a part of the fabric like something like this so these guys their outsides of them starts to be get oxidized and then not just that it starts to get wrinkly over time from just being, you know, squished in different situations. So that's why I put that one straight in the vault because I want to keep it minty. This Patrick kind of went through that same treatment, but how many days or how many times are you going to walk by a mermaid man, Patrick? So I had to grab that guy. How much was he? $4 too. I mean, we're going to look him up to see how rare or unrare he is, but nonetheless, I'm already going to say worth it. So although I haven't seen him, there are some like rare plushies out there you don't see all the time. You know, like this bank robber Patrick. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. When you see them in the costumes they can be kind of rare this one that was not super rare he goes for about i've seen one sold for 12 dollars you know with like eight dollars shipping so i mean worth more than what we paid for him that one was kind of beat too so i'll say worth it definitely you Thank know you. as this channel we never leave a sponge behind usually 
And we're not gonna leave a starfish behind either. So we're grabbing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, we got Brian Griffin Actually here. Brian. Yeah. Actually Brian. So like I said, last time we were there, Mitchell saw a it's polar like a, bear. Just a dog or something, yeah. And I was like laughing for like five minutes straight because it kind of did More look like Brian, but it wasn't. And then lo and behold, we go there the next time. And there's and actually like, Brian. There's actually Brian. You know how uncommon it is to see Family Guy plushies? So the fact that it was Brian <laughs> just seemed like some kind of sign to us. So I had to grab him. We have like a fancy style Brian here. He's five bucks. Let's see what he goes for. And maybe this was worth it. But you know what? Already worth it to me. All right. So this fancy dapper man seems to go between 10 to $15. Not a huge, you know, huge come up there. But at the same time, I don't have any Brian or Family Guy plushies. I have some Family Guy items, but I don't think I have any Family Guy plushies, so this will just be going in my personal collection. For only five bucks, that's a win to me. I gotta wash him up, but for five bucks, that's a win. All right, now this guy, I don't even know what it's worth, nor do I really care. This is worth it. Whenever we can find a SpongeBob item with the tag, green and white label, I mean yellow label, and earlier, that's an automatic worth it. I mean, if it's pineapple era, which is anything after 2013, 14, it could be depending on how much we paid for it, but anything for a thrift store cost, brand Brand new that's getting a worth it from us i believe that this goes to a lunchbox well i know that we had found that other one the same but it was like you know like bigger way bigger but yeah yeah so i'm not 100 percent sure where this might have been attached to or if it was just a solo product it could have been a solo product i mean it's got the tag for it and the fact that it has our meme did you nick knowledge on there 2006 semi vintage for spongebob I'm gonna go ahead and say worth it easy <laughs> and unused too. And you guys let us know in the comments down below, what was your favorite item today? My favorite item today so far, this, this guy, this guy, <laughs> this guy, and this for sure. I mean, I have a lot of choices here, but. <laughs> I was gonna say, it just, it just never ends. <laughs> for sure though, I'm gonna go with this guy, this guy, and this. <laughs> I can't bring it down to one. It's not possible. Right now I'm on the Barnacle Boy, Patrick. <laughs> That's just like, even if it's not super like rare or, you know, high valued, when do you see this? You know, when do you see in this? In the wild. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so next up here in plush, Probably another one of my favorites here. We have the SpongeBob. Yeah, that's that's probably my actual favorite now. <laughs> yeah, that's the winner of today, I think. I mean, that guy is clean as all hell. He is adorable. <laughs> like a little bit of thread here in the eye. We can burn that off. I don't want to take any time at all. So this is only $2.99. For a little Sponge Bowling Ball. No. <laughs> yeah, instantly worth it. And like I said, this reminds me so much of Battle for Bikini Bottle. In that game, SpongeBob turns into a ball and you can like use him in different, uh, you kind of have to use him for different mini games, but you can also also use him to kind of roll through different obstacles or under things and that reminds me of it like immediately so <laughs> I might put this in the bowl but I might put it over there with a battle for bikini bottom game just because it gives me that vibe so much or it might even just go in my house he is just so cute he, he just like reminds me like he's a cannonball you know he's like all scratched up <laughs> yeah he's just perfect I love him and when I saw it you saw that the mermaid man Patrick and then right after that I saw that and it was just like what is happening right now you know, like this is was, unreal. I was like, oh, Jane, that Patrick is kind of a, like a sick piece. And I was just like, oh, what is this? It's like the most unique tie thing I've seen so far from SpongeBob. Yeah, and you guys have to realize, oh, it's one of those ones that always goes back to the oh, ball, I think. It's got like little beads in it. Yeah, let's see here. It's not enough space here, I think. Yeah, it always goes back to its side. That's kind of cool. <laughs> kind of. But the thing is, is, like, you guys have to realize that, like, you know, you might think, because we are on this channel, we collect SpongeBob stuff, but SpongeBob is a huge brand. Like, it's huge. So many people pick up SpongeBob stuff just because they love it and because it's funny or they know somebody in their life that's going to love it. My mom recently got me a Christmas present, and I want to tell this story to you guys. She got me a Christmas <laughs> present at some store. I still don't know what it is yet, but she got me something that was SpongeBob related at a store, and she was walking around holding it, and somebody, would, like, there was a guy, like, stalking her in the store, dude. Like, literally stalking her in the that store. That is crazy. Super crazy creepy and crazy uh, and he walked up to her and he's like hey I see you have this like Spongebob thing I don't know what it is yet this Spongebob thing like do you think I could have that like I don't know if it's is it really your thing or it doesn't seem like it's like your thing or you do like that or can I can I have it <laughs> my mom's like no um it's for my son and he is really into Spongebob and like I mean me, me and Mitchell both I told him the story he's like yeah he has no idea <laughs> just a little bit <laughs> maybe just a wee bit I kind of like him you know <laughs> the health the amount um and then my mom was like no it's for my son he was like okay well how much are the car charging for it like i'll pay you more than what it costs so that way i can have it and then he still has to pay for it and i'm like 
okay? And my mom's like, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it because I know my son's really gonna like it. And I still haven't gotten that haven't gotten that gift yet. But what it told me is like, you know, there's other people out there just like us that are hunting this stuff down. So the fact that we found this guy <laughs> in the wild, that's a W. This is, <laughs> this is bold to walk up to someone. That doesn't look like your thing. <laughs> yeah, why well, do you know what my thing is, sir? You know what? It kind of doesn't look like your thing either. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I'm taking it. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go. So these guys I grab because you just do not see like vintage Disney stuff like that. These guys all I'm sure are from the early 2000s to late 90s. So we have this guy right here, only a 99 cents. It's Ariel. I mean, I love anything to do with the oceans. So Little Mermaid's always been one of my favorite films to watch. You have Flounder right there. You have some of the krill right there too. It's just a really cute piece. And then she's just floating inside. Yeah, it's just a nice piece for a dollar. For I mean, worth it. A 99 cents. Come on. So the next up, I guess they get better and better. This one has a little bit more detail. It kind of looks like an underwater like treasure chest, you know? Yeah, it's even got like the little bolt here. Yeah, and it just has such a 2000s like Y2K kind of yeah. vibe to it. <laughs> I love the look on it. And you open it up, it's actually got Ariel on the inside there. It's got like a little secret compartment. Yeah, I was gonna show oh, that. You, you revealed the secret too early. So we have this little compartment here for jewelry, maybe earrings, stuff like that. You have your necklaces down here, or whatever you want to put in there. But as Mitchell showed early, we have a little secret compartment. This is where you put the false treasure, and then the real <laughs> the treasure, treasure, your real jewelry, the gold. You put it behind this. It comes with crowns and an eraser, brand new. Never. You look at these old stickers. These stickers are freaking <laughs> old. It has the same image on the background there. <laughs> It's her doing her thing. And then, and then a little notebook in there too, a little coloring book. So, so just a cool little, you know, I don't know. It's just like how they like, you know, just hide something. Like you know? when you're a kid, you love a little stuff like that. Like, oh, this is a little hidden compartment. Like, you know, I think that's why like items like spy gear or like those little um, sensor reading devices where like lets you know when someone's coming. Or I think when you're a kid, like same way He-Man says, I've got the power. Like anything that gives a kid power, they're gonna love it. Like I think that's why we love Pokemon so much. It's like, you know, you're 10 years old. He's out they're freaking throwing Pokemon, they could like destroy the whole city. Yeah, <laughs> you know? true. But this is like, as a kid, I would have loved this because it's like, oh, I have my own little privacy, you know? Like, you know, my parents can come in my room whenever they want. They can wake me up when they want, tell me when to go to bed. But this little spot behind here, they're not gonna check there. It was like those, uh, what do they call those little journals where you had to like voice recognize it? Like, yeah, get exactly. It? The voice recognition journals. Yeah, like stuff like that, they give kids privacy or power in some kind of way was always stuff that would be a huge hit for kids, so. I don't know, that little note there adds to the nostalgia for me. So another one right there, and we got a bunch of these. Somebody got it's rid of their whole like collection. It's slightly bigger and bigger. Yeah, and more detailed. So the next one here, this one's actually got a music box Ooh. to it. I love the color so much. Like I said, I've always been obsessed with like ocean life as a kid. I loved watching you know, Shark Week was my, was my favorite week, that was Christmas. You know, I love Shark Week. I loved watching The Little Mermaid just because of the fact that the movie takes place so much of it in the ocean. And when they were out of the ocean, I wanted to go back to the ocean so spongebob when it became part of my life was just such an instant like oh i'm gonna love this forever because it's literally humor it's nickelodeon and it's under the ocean you can't really beat that so a this one trifecta. yeah it's a trifecta and this one right here gives such ocean vibes to it you have all the different fish swimming around there you know it's so cool just like you know lions tigers they're amazing you know but they all we all kind of share the same space fish they're, they're, they're they may as well be alien you know yeah, but true because like, there's so many undiscovered ones <laughs> so many undiscovered Discovered ones and like realistically unless you're out there in like the Bahamas snorkeling <laughs> you will never see some of these creatures in your regular day life you know you can see a bird fly everywhere you know you can see a rat in any street in Los Angeles you know but you can't just see a fish unless you see it in an aquarium you know so it's, it may as well be an alien and this one has the Ooh. music box right here with the beautiful view right here of a castle and then you have Ariel on the rock in her classic scene you know shampoo commercials have been trying to copy that for years Years, her getting out of that water. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, play it back. Whoa. No one can do it like Ariel. All right, it has her spinning around right there as well, too. It's also a little spring-loaded one, too. L'Oreal should have tried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No secret compartments in this one that I can tell, but I think this one's just, ah, just beautiful. And then as you close it down, it actually stops it. So you can close it up there. A little bit of a lock on there too. Music key in the back here. Just a beautiful piece and for $2. And not just that, we got one more. So we have this one, probably the most solid. This one's made out of like a wood material. Whoa. 
Yeah, and this one's got a little couple scenes throughout it from different moments in the in the actual actually It kind of goes in order actually like in complete order So he has him under her under the water here. It has her meeting Prince Eric It has them getting married and then it has her looking back on her life when she was in the ocean And if I open it up here, you'll see she also plays music and it has a little mirror in there So you can see Ariel moving in the mirror and also take a look at yourself while you're uh, you know throwing on your jewelry That is cute. I mean, which one's your favorite? I think that's my favorite one. That one because it was part of your world play. Yeah, that one's just amazing. And then this one's solid. I think this got better and better, right? Like from the start one here. Like cool as designs, definitely this one, but yeah. this one's my favorite. Best built one too. This one's like cardboard material. This one's like wood. So I mean, two dollars, one dollar, two dollars. Hard to beat. Yeah. Two dollars. That's seven bucks for all of these. And that's worth. Yeah. One of these would have been seven dollars at least back in the nineties, even. So huge worth it. That's amazing. Okay, next up here, this is actually all from the next thrift store we went to. We went there and got a couple things because we, you know, we could. So, <laughs> <laughs> we had the budget for it. Next up, we have socks here. So I'm gonna look it up, but I think this guy. I mean, I'm sure he's not worth much because of the fact that I said like Buzz Lightyear was the poster child slash mascot for the clearance bin. You know, the Lightyear movie did not do well, but I personally liked Lightyear and I personally love socks. He was the best part of Lightyear. Well, who doesn't like a cat? Yeah, and his sticker price is only $2. This animatronic socks, when it came out though, I know for a fact, these guys were like up to 30 bucks at their peak. So I didn't get one when it was at that peak price. So to get one for $2, it's out of the box. Keeping everything in our Toy Story collection under $20, of course. This is way under $20. It's a 10th of it. I'm gonna clean that sticker stuff off his back here. Oh, and he's yeah. got one. All scuffs coming straight off. Yeah, he's got one little mark here on his forehead. And maybe that'll come up too, hopefully for lucky, unless it's a scrape. It's, it's working its way off. Please touch all my sensors to make sure they are working. Scanning, 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 scanning. Assessment complete. That's so sick. Let's see the one with that. <laughs> He's like R2 D2, but cuter. Scanning, scanning. Oh. So the different scanning. sensors actually scanning. activate his effects. That is awesome, man. Cool. Oh, he just blinked at me. <laughs> I love him. All right, so we have socks here. <laughs> <laughs> That's worth it for a dollar ninety nine. Absolutely. <laughs> he is going in the Toy Story collection. That's what I'm saying. If you have a Toy Story collection, you're trying to build a collection. Oh, you hear that? He's purring for me. <laughs> you can do it for twenty dollars, like nothing. Okay. 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 So next up here we have blue, and you know I'm always growing my blue collection here. We have yeah. an unbelievable amount of blues, clues, plushies. Uh, at least over twenty at this point. And I just and I'm only aiming. I mean, if I get new ones, I get them. But I'm mostly aiming for the vintage ones if we can, because I want to get as many, if not all, of the blue plushies they've ever released. Because it seems like blue may have had more plushies than any other Nickelodeon characters besides maybe SpongeBob. So I grabbed this one because I know we don't have that one. She has the classic, you know, classic eyes on there the plastic these are usually really scraped up and stuff like that her eyes and her nose look really good she has a single blue paw print there and this is from 1999 i'm gonna go ahead and say already worth it on her she is adorable too and whenever you get a 90s plushie or anything nickelodeon 90s you can get to add to the collection that's a win Look, now we have a dog and a cat. And they're gonna be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we also noticed she has bendable ears too, so you can actually pose her ears too any way you want to. That is amazing. <laughs> Even bigger of a W now. W. W. <laughs> okay, I actually forgot one bag here. So we grabbed this guy right here because it was only $1.99 and you get Michelangelo in here, which you know what, now that I see it, Mikey's been through a lot. His belt looks very worn down. <laughs> he's got a lot of these like weird- It's so crazy because he's only like less than like three or four months old. Yeah, he's only a, like less than a year for sure. This is the Paramount Plus Mutant Mayhem Michelangelo. He was very well loved for that year though. I don't know, they might be just how they are though. Yeah, I mean, I gotta get some of these little ball things off of there, but other than that, he's not that bad. Maybe they just threw him in the wash and they're like, okay, time to donate. <laughs> yeah, he's not bad though. He's not in bad shape at all. There was a little like bead ball things on here, throw them in the washer machine. Delicate, I think that'll come up a lot of this stuff. He's got a little string coming off here, but for $1.99, I paid, I think, $14 for mine, right? Like $12.99? Yeah, the Mattel ones, right? Yeah. Yeah, so $12.99, we got this one for $2. That's a win. And then there's also Tigger as the devil. For Halloween? For Halloween. I mean, that's just kind of a bonus. With a oh, spring yeah. tail. <laughs> it also has- The devil's tail. Yeah. The devil's aspects. <laughs> so that's a W. Just as a bonus. <laughs> Two bucks, we'll take them. 
This guy, like I said, he just looks kind of like Hunter. <laughs> so I wanted to grab him just to kind of have this in my house. He definitely needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but definitely gives me Hunter vibes, so I grabbed him. All right, our last little item here we got was this right here. This is the, the Lockheed Powerpuff Girls like tin thing. I mean, this is from the year 2000 as well, so as Y2K as it gets, it's got the day is saved, or oh, 1999, even older. So it has them beating the hell out of Mojo Jojo over That's here. That's pretty usual. Yeah, they have him, and then over here, it looks like they have Fuzzy, fuzzy Lumpkins. Fuzzy Lumpkins, yeah. <laughs> but I think maybe, let's see here, I have a key that goes to this. Like, you know, anything that's just like circular will just go straight in. Yeah, I have like one of those basic keys that go to a lot of these things inside of this guy. So maybe we can just use it to open it. Mail time. So maybe it's not gonna work for this one. Like if you have any of those like old journal locks, those old journals with the keys and locks, I'm sure you can it's a pretty easily basic, open it, yeah. Yeah, pretty basic key there. And we're always out on hunts, so we tried to zip tie, it didn't work. We're always out on hunts, so I could find something that has one of these BS like locks on there. I'm sure I could find it for like a dollar or so. So I'll look for one, but I mean, other than that, it's pretty solid. Uh, for $1.99, it may have even been percentaged off too, because it's a yellow tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and say worth it though, just for the, the curb appeal, if you will. <laughs> it's also very vintage. Yeah, just nice too. So there we go. That is everything. Favorite items of today. This guy right here, yeah. freaking banger. This guy, this guy, for this sure. guy. I mean, just some awesome pulls today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, smack the like button because I know you guys love the thrifting videos and we're trying to do more of them. So make sure you show some support to these videos. If you guys aren't already, go check out the Patreon because we're gonna be doing an extended version of this video, which is, which is even longer than this video. So if you wanna go check that out, you can. Stay tuned, we're gonna add some of these guys to the collection here. For that, you know the drill. Scanning. Okay, so for our DVDs here, of course, we're gonna be adding the Patrick Star one. So the disc is beautiful. Insert. To be determined. To be determined. <laughs> The disc is, a, is the best part about this on the box though. You can see it is pretty crinkled up there. So we'll be on the lookout and if we ever see, you know, like I said, we grab every SpongeBob DVD because we're always trying to get the most tippity toppity shape one. And you'll see that paid off with this one here in a second. But we do have it. So let's go ahead and add this guy into his sleeve. And he is sleeved up. Ignore the gardener sounds in the background. <laughs> so we're gonna write. I was gonna say. For me, I think it's like an eight. Eight? That box is pretty torn. I was thinking seven. Oh, okay. I was thinking seven out of 10. Needs box. Box. And maybe insert. Damage. Damage, damage. Insert? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's seal him off. And boom, another one is in the bag, ladies and gentlemen. Only three more, or four more, three, I think. Yeah, three more. <laughs> Three more to go on this countdown to get every US release SpongeBob DVD special. Beautiful, right there. So this one, five, it's a good thing we write this. This was, I was like, okay, well this one's box is nice, the disc is nice, insert, everything's there. The disc on this one is really good too, so this one's a five out of 10, everything. Which is, <laughs> which is probably not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, the disc, Ooh. the box is really dented up here. Chewed up. No insert. Ooh. And the disc, oh. That was a coaster, what do you mean a disc? <laughs> Destroyed. So this one is an instant removal. And this one, the disc, insert. Check out the disc on this guy. Not perfect, but a lot better for sure. I'm thinking we give this guy a nice little uh, eight and a half out of 10. It's gonna be hard to find a new better one than that. Exactly. Unless it's brand spanking. Like if it's sealed, I mean, that's just 10. <laughs> yeah. So that was a huge upgrade on this one. That's why I said I grab every single one. Worst case scenario, we put it up on whatnot or we give it away, whatever we end up doing with it. But if it's one that's better to be able to put it in our collection, to be able to, you know, increase the, uh, the overall quality average, then that's what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and put this guy, sleeve him up. He's sleeved up. Let's seal it off now. All right, so eight out of 10. Amazing, so a new upgrade right there. And we got this guy into the collection. Of course, we'll be putting those with our SpongeBob DVDs. I gotta make sure I put them in the right spaces though so they go in the correct order. But man, that was that's, that, that seems like a small movement, but that's huge when you have almost less than four left to go. That's a huge impact. All right, so, and it's on to the next day of hopefully finding that next one we need. Okay, so for the sponge ball, I put him on top of our little microphone and also CD player setup. I think he fits really, really well there. Patrick was there previously, but the yellow kind of just works, you know? <laughs> and it reminds me of the Battle of Bikini Bottom, like I said, this is typically where we would be playing such a game. Okay, so anything you guys don't see us bring up here is going in the vault or it's going on the shop or whatnot. 
not. So right here, this guy. This guy's gonna be going in the Scooby-Doo collection, so expect to see it there. These two guys, I need to wash them before I put them anywhere, especially this guy. He's got the red all over his head there. <laughs> so we're gonna wash these two guys, and this one, I don't know, but for this one, for sure, he'll be going in the vault, or maybe you might see him floating around here somewhere. You never know. Okay, and back here is where all our Imaginex are. We have the Squidward there, the Sandy. We have the different sponges here. We have some of them on the rides. They're kind of just scattered through out our, our glove world here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the sponge gar here to the rest of the setup. And there we go, another Imaginex checked off of our list to get all of them. All right, and pretty soon here, I think I'm just gonna get need to get Blue his own basket, or a Blue skit. <laughs> I'm gonna make it blue, why not? Because we have so, look over there, there's so many in there. And we have some in there. There's some up there. There's some over there. There's a lot of blue plushies. You know, I think you just need his own spot at this point. Because I, I don't care. I'm gonna get them all. I'll get them. As long as they're new variation, I'm gonna get them. So <laughs> there it is up there. Preferably vintage because the, the, the new ones will start to add up really quick. And for our Bubble Guppy, it is a Nick Jr. product. So I'm just gonna add her to our toy box. With uh, Team Umi. Even more blues. <laughs> with more, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> with Team Umi Zumi. These are all really new blues. So she's in here with Team Umi Zumi. So that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new here. If you guys want to support the show further, you can join our Patreon too, where you can sign up for only $2 a month. You get invited to our Discord to hang out, talk with a bunch of other members of the Rep Pack. Plus, you get extended versions of all the videos that we upload, which can be 10, 20, 30 minutes longer than the videos we upload here on YouTube. So huge shout out to the big Patreons of the month in the Rep Pack royalty. Shout out to Taz Watsky. Shout out to Storm X Quick. Shout out to List of Legends. Shout out to Prismatic Phantom, Yanis Torres, It's Big Little, Kevin Nguyen, Later, A Castle, Real Queen G, Gabriella, and also Don the Whale. Thank you guys so much for making everything that we do here possible. We appreciate you guys and have so much love for everything you guys do. And if you wanna see us live, well then go check out Whatnot. It's a buying and selling platform, just like eBay, Mercari, Amazon, you name it. Except for, it's live. And I hang out there every single Friday with a bunch of other Rep Pack members just like you guys. We do giveaways and you get $15 for free when you signed up that you can use in my auction, somebody else's auction, or on the open market and pick up some of the stuff that you guys love. But on that note, I'll see you guys over here in this video that I know you're gonna love. As always, Rep Pack, I'll see you. You beautiful people in the next one. Adios and boop.